Hi, Chaz Karen here from Bosch. Today we're going to do the installation basics for the Tronic 4000C electric tankless water heater. In this video we will show you how to mount the water heater to the wall, install the plumbing, fill the heater, wire the electrical connections and operate the unit. Please note that the Tronic 4000C is a non-thermostatic model and is designed for constant flow point of use applications. So be aware of the scalding risks and consult the table shown here before choosing a model. First step is going to be to mount the water heater to the wall. Before you proceed, be sure that you're choosing a suitable mounting surface, that it is solid and secure, and remember the unit itself must be installed upright in the vertical position and on a level wall. Please also check your manual to find out which wire size you need to power this unit. To remove the cover, we have to take the two screws off of the bottom. With the screws out, we're going to pull the bottom of the cover outward and swing it up, then lift away the tabs from the top. At this point, you should be able to disconnect that wiring harness to the display. Once we have that disconnected, we can completely remove the cover. Once you have completely removed the cover, you now want to bring your power into the cabinet itself, past the electrical supply wires through the round wire knockout in the back of the unit. Now you're ready to mount the unit to the wall. First position the unit on the mounting surface, making sure that the unit is level. Next, mount the unit to the wall using the four screws that are provided. When mounting the unit, please maintain a minimum six inches of clearance from the bottom of the unit to the floor in order to allow room for surfacing. Afterwards, pull gently on the water heater to ensure that it is properly mounted. Hooking the plumbing. Please note, all plumbing must be done in accordance with federal and local and state codes and practices. Failure to properly install the water heater will void the warranty. We also recommend using pipe thread tape on all mechanical plumbing connections. Also, we recommend unions on the hot and cold water connections to easily disconnect the water heater for servicing. Before connecting the pipes to the water heater, flush all the lines to eliminate all residue and debris from the inlet water lines. Next, connect the water heater to the inlet line to the entry point of the water heater, which is on the left side, and connect the outlet to the hot water outlet on the right side. Be sure to use a line that can withstand a minimum pressure of 150 PSI, which the unit is rated to. Using any other type of line could possibly cause damage to the home. For protection against excessive pressure, your local code may require a pressure relief valve. If the pressure relief valve is required, install it on the hot water outlet line of the water heater, then orient it to provide tubing so that any discharge from that valve will exit at least six inches above the structural floor. The relief valve cannot be in contact with any live electrical parts. The discharge opening cannot be blocked or reduced in size under any circumstances. Filling the water heater. To start, make sure that any drain valves are shut so that we don't cause any leaks. Once you have confirmed that the drain valves are closed, open the shutoff valve in the cold water supply line. Then open the hot water faucets to allow air to vent from the heater and the piping. Allow sufficient time for the water heater to completely fill with water. Check for leaks and repair any that you find. Now that we have water in the unit, the last step is to connect the power to the unit. First, make sure that your wiring is shut off by means of the circuit breaker. Connect the appropriate wire size power cable for the model of the water heater on the terminal block. Secure appropriate wiring connections to the water heater per the National Electric Code. Please note the unit must be grounded. Once the wiring connections have been made, you can secure the water heater cover. When the water heater is not within sight of it, the circuit breaker, you must have an additional circuit breaker or lockout means for the water heater itself. We recommend annual testing of the water heater electrical connections by a qualified technician. Now that we have power and water to the unit, we can operate it. First, we're going to turn the breaker on, actually providing power to the unit. Then we're going to turn the temperature dial from off to low. Flow only hot water at the desired outlet and allow the water heater several minutes to heat the water to the temperature. The LED on the power selector will indicate that the unit is heating. Use the thermometer to measure the water temperature at the hot water outlet. Keep in mind that the temperature can range from 90 to 170 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on flow and inlet temperature. Turn the power selector knob to choose the power level setting that provides the desired hot water temperature. We recommend for most situations the medium setting. That's all there is to it. You have completely installed the Tronic 4000C point of use tankless water heater. For more information, please visit our website at BoschHeatingAndCooling.com. And remember, before everything, there's Bosch.